Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. This is your captain speaking. I'd like to welcome you aboard flight number 427 to Coffee City. Doors are closed and we are doing our final preparations for departure. As we begin taxiing, our flight attendants will go over the safety procedures for the aircraft. During the flight, please keep your seatbelts fastened until the light is turned off. Winds aloft should provide us with a rather short trip. In the meantime, please enjoy the in-flight movie and I'd like to thank you for flying Coffee House Airways. We will be in the air shortly. Yo. 
Yo and yo, what's up everyone? Welcome back to the coffee house. How's it going today? I've had a day, guys. I have had a day. But now I'm flying and that makes me happy. And driving uh, or drinking coffee driving. Wow, I have had a day. Drinking coffee also makes me happy. So I'm going to wait for a minute or two before I announce the things I was going to announce until more people are here. So stand by. So I'm looking in the marketplace here. Let's go to the regular camera A live, uh, live scene here. Check this out. I may have to spend money because that is pretty darn cool. Look at that thing. Little Cessna bird dog. Oh man, that just looks amazing. I love that scheme right there. Little army scheme. Look at that. So, if you haven't seen, I pinned in the chats on Facebook and I posted in the chats on YouTube and Twitch the link to our Coffee House Discord as promised. Because, you know, I've only been talking about it for like three years. Okay, that may or may not be a little bit of an exaggeration, but y'all get the point. It's been a minute I've been talking about that. So, what's up, Rudiger? What's up, Ben C? How's it going today, guys? It's going good for me. Except for my morning. I had a little bit of a day this morning. Look at that Cessna bird dog. Oh, man. So cool. I got to fly a Cessna 140 once, and it was super fun. Let's see what else is in the marketplace today. Statesboro. VFR activities for the Flight Simulator Academy. I wonder what that's all about. Let's check that out. Missions. Study level VFR tutorial and bush trips. This manual for this product can be found under following the path of your Microsoft Flight Sim, your installation. Depending on whether you've purchased the sim, blah, 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 blah. Basic VFR, approach circuits, local flight, night VFR, crosswind, abnormals, mountain flying, UK trip, USA trip, New Zealand trip, and a skills test. Wow. It's kind of cool, actually. That'd be neat to add that to the academy, and then I wouldn't just have to practice landings every day. Even though landings are pretty fun. I wonder what airplane that is. That's pretty baller looking. I'm going to have to look into flying some of the other airplanes. I think it's that one. That's the little Robin one. I think I saw Mr. Steelhead flying that one day. Ooh, that's pretty. Dang, I gotta start getting into some more of these missions and stuff. I like missions. Ooh, got us a little night flying. Okay, let's go back to the marketplace, look at the rest of the stuff we got here. Sarajevo, home of the Olympics back in the 80s. Some of you guys will remember. Nice Coute de Sure. Excuse me, Flo? What's the soup of the day? It's the Nice Cote de Sure. Sounds good. I'll have that. For all you Jim Carrey fans out there. IFR activities in the Flight Simulator Academy. Now we're cooking with gas, ladies and gentlemen. <coughs> that might be the one that I spent some money on. Instrument flight training missions return better than ever with the Flight Simulator Academy IFR. Basic IFR, partial panel, VOR and NDB tracking, holding patterns, VOR approaches, ILS approaches. Okay. Now we're cooking with freaking gas. That's the one I'm going to be getting because I would love to learn all the rest of those types of things. Where do we go for the Flight Simulator Academy to find all the rest of that stuff? Oh yeah, there it was. Full catalog. 
You could try to do some challenges. Yeah, I'm gonna do that, actually. Okay, here we go. Flight Simulator Academy. Bundle promotion. Installed content. Landmarkers. Activities. Miscellaneous. There it is. The Flight Simulator Academy. Let's search for Academy. F.S. Academy. Search. Okay, just two results found. All right, so those are the two that we can add. Holy, $45, $46. Dang, I can go fly, I can go rent a Cessna for that. Holy macramole, guys. All right, well, let's get this party started, guys. We need to fly something. Um, I went, hi Wrangler Girl on Twitch, I went on to the chat commands thing in Streamlabs, and you'd think when you pay $20 a month for Streamlabs Prime, and you put in a basic command, that it would work. But it does not work. Look at that. I had it working before. And then what's really strange is the... Chat command used to work for me. Like, I had that working before. So, I don't know where it went. The magic 8-ball stopped working. The Discord thing stopped working. And it's kind of strange. Alright, guys. Let's go fly somewhere, shall we? Enough of this. Oh, I know what I wanted to look for. Someone told me there was a Spitfire in here. And I would like to find that. Full catalog. Aircraft. Piston. Okay, there's the Cessna bird dog. There's the Aerolite. I'm gonna have to have that. I think that would be super fun. There's the Kit Fox. That's pretty cool. Got the Long Easy. Singer John Denver died in one of those. And then we got the new Zenith. A friend of mine owned one of those, actually. That's it. No Spitfire. Huh. All right, that must be a download from another type of thing. I'll have to get on that. Wing Sim is $36. I'm working on it, Rudiger, I promise. Oh, well, since no one else is going to come, I'm going to give you guys the first look. Now, I, I'm still working on this stuff, I, but, I, but I did promise there would be a Discord channel today, and I promised there would be this today. So, let's go to right there. Okay? Huh? See? That says a little coffee cup and coffee house. I wanted a brown coffee grounds colored shirt with the coffee house logo right there. And then I did a tan shirt with the coffee cup plus controller. Coffee plus gaming. That's what we do here, guys. So, coffee plus gaming and coffee house. That's what I'm getting started with. I'm also going to do hoodies in this same type of thing. But if you guys have some other ideas, put those in the Discord. See? Look at that. Already using the new Discord, guys. Let's go. Let's drink some more coffee because we should. So anyway, that was my uh I, I those are the kind of two things I wanted to get started with. I think those will be super fun. And then the only thing I'm thinking of adding, which I couldn't do on that template, I got to get a better template. I'm hoping I can find like a three-dimensional template that I can work with. Looks nice. I'll have one of each. Yes, you will, Wrangler Girl. You will be the first one. You and Pink Shadows get the first shirts. Um, so I want to put like on this tan one right here that just has Coffee Plus Games. On the sleeve, I want it to say Coffee House right here. Uh-huh. And then this one... On the sleeve, I'm going to put like just a little gaming controller since the coffee cup is already by the logo. And then maybe on the back, like right here, just below like this, like right on just the back below the neck, put coffee plus and a gaming controller on this one here since it's not all the way on there. So just try to make something that's really fun. So I love it. I'd love to see one in green camouflage. All right. We'll see if we can do that. All right, now let's go fly something. Welcome, flight training. Yes, I'm practicing landings. I'm consistent around here, guys. 
That's just how it works. And then we're going to go to the Cirrus, and we're going to do some pattern work for a little while. Then I'm taking my daughter roller skating because I'm the best dad in the freaking world. Cheers. Let's go. All right, let's get my little fancy phone device out here. I'm going to move this over to my iPad soon. That way I can keep my phone for chats because it's easier to type in the chats on my phone. Let's go to camera a lot. Oh, there it is. Oh, look at that. This just gets better by the day, guys. Let's put on our headset so we can talk to the tower. Cessna 42257 Echo. Straight out departure on runway 21. Let's do this. I didn't get my other camera set up. I'll have that tonight after I get home from roller skating. I'll be watching from the ground in I was working on t-shirt designs and all these other things. Your goal was to complete Sedona's left-hand traffic pattern on your own. Rudiger says hello to Wrangler Girl over on Twitch. Good luck. See you on the other Oh hey, look at that. 100 stars for Mr. Rudiger Couts. I didn't see it just it literally just rang the notification for that, even though you typed the green camouflage. There's 50 more stars coming through. Bob McCarthy, thanks for liking my stream. I'm so happy you guys are here. Did you see that, Bob? I was showing everybody the t-shirts. You might have just missed it. So I'll go back for just a second. See here? Look at this. I got my stars thing fixed, too. So now my regular notifications are coming through. So it was a 50-50. I tried to get my chat uh, exclamation point discord exclamation point chat commands to work didn't work but this did work it's just weird how all of it went away but uh bob mccarthy here is the t-shirt designs i'm working on little cup and coffee house and a coffee plus games coffee grounds brown and like a tan it's just two designs i'm working on so we really want to get those out to some of you guys and get those available i'm going to open up like a merch store so i can have coffee cups and all that stuff so i've been talking about it now i've delivered it there it is and we got our Discord channel, so feel free to join our Discord channel. It is in the chats. If you'd like me to post that again, I will be glad to. Let's fly an airplane. All right. Let's check this bird out here. Let's turn our carb heat off for takeoff. Don't want that. We check that in our run-up. Let's turn off our parking brake. Let's set ourselves a notch of flaps. Let's get this thing rolling down the runway nice and straight, shall we? And here we go. Cessna 42257 Echo departing runway 21 straight out climbing straight through 25400 feet. I can't wait to have the coffee house coffee mug to drink out of right on stream. All right guys, here we go. Let's see if this locked in cockpit works just as good today as it did yesterday. Let's roll this bird into the air at 60. There it is. Let's keep our runway heading of 21 degrees and climb through to 5,400 feet. All right, we're going to hit about 70 or so. We've definitely got our takeoff clean, and we're good. Let's clean up this bird, take those flaps off, and trim this thing out for a climb, shall we? Oh, we shall. There we go. Let's look behind us. Oh, it's beautiful. Let's just bring her to the left just a hair so my instructor doesn't yell at me, and we're just going to keep right on climbing. <laughs> Climbing at about 65 to 70 knots is a nice rate of climb for a Cessna. Hey, what's up, DDA? Yo, 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 you're quite late for lunch live. Yeah, I had a morning, DDA. I had a morning. And I was working on Discord and t-shirt stuff after I had quite the morning. Ben C's going to hear all about my morning when I call him later. All right, we're climbing through to 5,400. And hey, you know, sometimes you just don't get to do lunch until late. You know, working men gotta work through lunch sometimes, guys. Guten Abend. That ain't how that's spelled. <laughs> I made my first Crossfire build. Very nice. How did you like it? I've always wanted to try the TBS Crossfire and never did. Hey, Adam Fountain, thanks so much for liking my stream. Welcome back to the coffee house. Just doing a little landing practice in the Cessna, and then we're going to move on to some pattern work with the Cirrus SR22. I hope you're having a great day, Adam. Welcome back. I was showing everyone my coffee house t-shirt designs, so after I get done with this, I will pop back over and you can check them out. I'd love everybody's opinion. 
Also, the pinned comment is the link to the Coffee House Discord. So go ahead and join up on the Discord as well as follow me on Instagram for all of the stories and things we do offline if you're interested. I just flew at line of sight and gave her a good rip. Well, that's awesome. Hey, Mr. Jeep, Todd Ward is in the house. Thanks for the 50 stars. I hope you're having a good day today and not working too hard. I know you're guilty of working too hard sometimes as are most of the rest of us self-employed people. Good to see you, Todd. Thanks so much for the 50 stars. Look at that, guys. Two-thirds up the wing strut. Coming up on the numbers here. We're going to get ready to start powering back on this guy here. Get our carb heat turned on. All right, let's turn on some carb heat. There it is. Let's go ahead. Oh, there's our RPM drop. Let's go ahead and get this thing down. We're going to go ahead and drop in a notch of flaps as we are in our white arc or just close enough. We're at pattern altitude. Let's trim this thing up here. I'm by myself over here. I know, Wrangler. You can come over to Facebook if you want. Oh, wait. You can. Just seen your story with the setup. Yeah, dude, right? Isn't that amazing? I am telling you, I am working so hard over here. Next is the... Uh, setting up my wiring and you know all that kind of stuff hey what's up mr ambitious johnson how's it going today brian hope you're having a great day i am i'm drinking coffee flying some planes let's go all right i'm a little high guys so i'm gonna go ahead and power this bird back and we can drop in our second notch of flaps yeah we're real high oh my my flight instructor hey you know what you know what my real flight instructor taught me a long time ago to carry altitude on final approach because if I lost my engine right here guess what I'll make it back to the runway let's keep that 70 miles an hour and let's just drop this drop this old girl right in here for a beautiful landing got two notches of flaps oh yeah looking good see if I if my engine completely shut off right now Let's do that. Look at that. We've lost our engine. Doesn't matter. We are making that runway, guys. Let's butter the bread. There it is. Hold her off, hold her off, hold her off. And just a nice little touchdown. Look at that. Set the nose wheel on the ground. Ladies and gentlemen, there it is. Come to the UK and sort my wiring out too. I know, right? I'm telling you, I got a nice old wiring mess under there. So I actually have a really, really cool idea. Check this out. So I'm going to get some 4-inch or 6-inch PVC pipe. And I'm going to take a jigsaw and cut little windows in it that I can reach my hands into. But they're going to be up kind of on the sides. And then I'm going to screw that PVC pipe the whole way along the back of my desk, right? So then... Um, along the back of the desk all of my cables up in at the top where you can't see them will go down through the holes in the top and they'll lay inside of that pvc pipe almost like a tray but then those windows along the sides there every so often will have the ability that i can stick my hands in there and feed wires if i need to change out a cable or something like that and then my uh under desk lighting that i have that phillips hue strips i'm gonna put all of that on applause for that let's go let's raise our cups for buttering the bread right there. Just taking a sip. Any excuse I have to drink coffee, guys. I mean, that's kind of it. But um, So, yeah, I'm going to put my under desk lighting on the bottom of that PVC because that'll be a good thing to attach it to. And that's going to completely... I'll be able to look under my setup and you won't see a single wire. I'm super excited. Thanks again for the 50 stars, Mr. Ward. Brian Johnson likes the stream. Let's see. Adam Fountain coming to the UK. So, yeah, right. I know. Butter, bro. Heck yeah, Rudiger. Heck yeah. Just seen your story. Uh, making sure I didn't miss any chats. All right, let's get the Cirrus out, guys. And let's go main menu. I'm just going to practice um, at the airport where my friend keeps his Cirrus. Hey, hey, what's up? Mark Hanna is in the stream. Thanks so much for the like. Mark, congratulations on getting married, sir. I saw your pictures. You guys look beautiful. Congratulations. I'm really happy for you. I hope you guys are having an awesome time. Let's go to the world map. Let's get... There it is. Cirrus is already ready for us. Let's go to Akron Canton where my friend keeps his Cirrus. 
Let's go to the Northwest Tees right here. We're going to taxi depart right out of the parking ramp where he keeps his airplane. And then we're going to fly. Ah, where are we going to fly today, guys? Let's just do some pattern work first. So we'll just select the arrival airport as runway here, and we'll set that as our arrival. Look at that. We're going to depart from the parking ramp, and then we're going to arrive at runway 23. Let's set our flight conditions. Let's go 107. We're going to go... Uh, let's just go with scattered clouds. See, yeah, give us a little something to look at while we're up there. All right, and let's fly. Any stream snipers out there? Hit a brother up. Oh no, Cirrus, time for me to go. I'm watching you, DDA. You don't like my little papistral virus airplane. You don't like my Cirrus. What's up with you not liking any of the airplanes that I like? We gotta talk, bro. We gots to talk. All right, here we go. Let's get to back to our live screen. <laughs> I'm watching you, dude. All right, here we go. Ready to fly. Let's see if we can get... Oh, look at this. This is new. I got... I got... I'm getting a... Look at this. Wow, we're starting from scratch here, guys. Look at that. Okay, I'm impressed. Wow, we're really doing it, Harry. All right, well, let's go ahead and do our checkout here, I guess. <clears throat> See if I remember how to do some of this stuff. I don't have my pre-flight manual up, but that's okay. Let's go ahead and turn on battery one, master, alt one, battery two, alt two, all right, we got our avionics coming up here. All right, this is pretty sweet. All right. Let's push, see if we can get our PFD to come up here, or our uh, MFD to come up. Maybe that'll come up here in a minute. Avionics, there we go. Let's turn our avionics on. That's the switch. Looking good. Garmin G1000, press right, soft key to continue. All right, there we go. Hey, Stanley, what's up, dude? It's been a minute. How you been? I hope you're having a good day today. Hashtag commands. Yeah, I, I don't know. I've given up on the commands, guys. I'm going to do some more research on how to fix it. I had them all working, and then all of a sudden the little zombie thing starts coming up instead of my regular alerts like that right there. And then um, my commands don't work anymore. So, but Facebook's weird about commands compared to some of the other ones. All right, let's get back to the lecture at hand. All right, so we've got all of our avionics up currently. We've got our master switches and our alt switches on. Nav lights and all that stuff is off at the moment. Hey, thanks for sharing and liking my stream, DDA. Stanley, thanks so much for the like. Uh, I'm so glad to see you. Hopefully you're having an awesome day. Let's go ahead and turn the magnetos to right, to left, to both. And let's go ahead and start this bird up. All right, sounds like we got ourselves. All right, we got mixture rich and prop is in the position, but Asiris controls the prop for you. We started at the same day. Heck yeah, followage, let's go. All right, so we got our run up, we got our parking brake on. Let's go ahead and put our navigation lights and our strobe lights on, and we'll turn our landing light on. I don't know if, I don't remember if that's protocol, but I think that is protocol for when you're on the ground, but we're gonna call it protocol for today. Instrument panel overhead and lights, we're good there. We got caution flag here hitting us. No alerts, timer. All right, let's set our altitude to decimal two, niner, niner two. Okay, altitude 2.92 inches. Let's go ahead and check air traffic control and we'll get ATIS for the day. Uh, when did you start streaming on Facebook? Um, You know, it's been a while. Um, I started... <laughs> beginning of last year, but I didn't really do anything with it at first. So, um, 
All right, let's tune ATIS here and listen to the weather. Akron, Canton Airport information. Charlie 17000. Wind 279 at 8. Okay. Visibility 6. Sky condition 600 feet. Scattered 5200 feet scattered. Okay. Temperature 13. Dew point 13. Altimeter 29 decimal 902. All right, altimeter is correct. Runway, runway. Okay. Aircraft, say direction of flight. All aircraft read back hold short instructions. Advise controller on initial contact. You have Charlie. All right, we've got Charlie. Let's go ahead and talk to ground services here. Oops. Go back to clearance. Ground services. Oh, let's let's try requesting a fuel supply. Ground Coffee House, November four two two five seven Echo. Can you oh, please send a fuel Oh, this truck? is awesome! Coffee House, November four two two five seven Echo fuel truck is on the road. Right on, guys. Oh, that's super cool. Is the Viper Jet in the game? Um, I don't know. I think there's a thing called... My friend Ben um, sent me a thing called FlightSimulator.to, and I haven't gone there yet to do any mods because I've just been trying to make sure all this stuff works. I'm learning all the stuff in the game first before I do anything else. Um, but, yeah, I know there's some different airplane skins and stuff you can get if you... If you uh, go to FlightSimulator.to. All right, so let's do this. Let's go ahead... We're going to power this thing back off since the fuel truck is coming. Now let's go ahead and shut our avionics and all that stuff back off for a second. Let's go back out and see if our fuel truck shows up. That's doggone cool. Oh, I got to have the fuel to turn on to talk to air traffic control. How convenient. All right, so let's go back inside. All right, well, there was a noob mistake. All right, there we go. We'll just leave our master on here just so that we can check our fuel. All right, where's our fuel truck, guys? It doesn't take this long. Where the heck are ya? I mean, we are kind of out here in the middle of nowhere, but goodness. Why can't I see chat from Facebook or YouTube? Um, because I haven't started paying $20 a month yet in order to do Restream.io. I have a little bit more research that I want to do with Restream.io. So, um, yeah, that's why. I apologize, Wrangler Girl's all over there by herself on Twitch. You guys should visit her take the conversation over to Twitch because I know you guys all have Twitch too. Wrangler Girl is feeling a little bit by herself and by her lonesome. All right, well, I'm not waiting any longer for this fuel truck. I thought that would be something super fun, but let's just request the fuel supply ends. We have fuel, so let's just forget about it. Ground Coffee House, November 42257 Echo. I am done with fuel services. <laughs> As as he comes right here, request fuel supply. Let's request him again. Ground Coffee House, November four two two five seven Echo. Could you I bet you that's him right truck? there. Coffee House, November four two two five seven Echo. Fuel truck is on the road. There we go. That's not a fuel truck. That's a bambalance. Hey, there we go. Now Wrangler has some friends to talk to. See, good stuff. Let's let some stars fly for Eric's restream. Let's go. Thanks so much, Rudiger. You're amazing. 100 stars. You rock, bro. Yeah, I need to get that done. Thanks for the stars in the chats, TDA. Rudiger, I love you, bro. All right, where's my fuel truck? I saw it. There it is right there. It's coming down the road. We got to wait for it because this is the fuel truck right there. I want to see how cool this is. This has to be pretty sweet. I'm, I'm impatient. I want to fly now. Hey, Riding Fred, what's up, dude? 
Ryden Fred is like the stream. Thanks so much, Ryden Fred. Everybody go join my Discord channel while you're in here. Uh, the links are in the description, and they were posted in the chats. Um, I pinned it on the Facebook chat. If you're watching on YouTube, it's in the chat. If you're watching on Twitch, here it is again. Make sure you hit up that Discord coffee house. That way we can uh, all chat together anytime we're not online. I have bits, but he doesn't have it available on Twitch. Yes, because, all right, so while we're waiting for our fuel truck to get here, I think I've talked a little bit about this. If you do a... Um, if you do Twitch affiliate, I will no longer be able to stream on Facebook and YouTube at the same time. So the only way I can get bits is to affiliate on Twitch and sign the Twitch affiliate contract. And the problem is, if I sign that contract, then I am locked down to streaming only on Twitch. And then I'd have to do a separate stream on Facebook and YouTube, which would take twice as much time. So I think I'm going to set up a Patreon um, instead that way, if people on Twitch or YouTube want to help out the stream, there's Patreon and things like that. Oh my goodness, look at this. Ground generic November 1895. Charlie requesting pushback. This is so stinking cool. I'm at 38% of my payload, my empty weight, max fuel allowable, 2468 pounds. Take off weight. All right, so let's do this. Let's put our... Let's go to 60% in each of our wing tanks. And... Display as... Pounds. All right. All right, there we go. So how do I make it work? Oh, they just do it automatically. It doesn't have like a guy get out and actually show it. So yeah, I'm going to probably do a Patreon. That way I can just do it that way. So, you know, I ain't like on here begging for people's money. But, you know, sometimes big guys come in with lots of deep pockets and they're like, hey, I want to help out a stream. So, you know, at least we have it available. All right, well, I think that's correct. Left main, 60%. Fuel is at 60%, so I think we're good. Let's try this. Let's go 65%. All right, 66 then. Let's see what it does. Come join the Discord. Heck, yeah, let's go. Get in that Discord. Here, let's see. Did anyone new join the Discord? I think I have my Discord channel up right here. Starfighter, oh, look at that. Hey, there's Sneaky. Hello. H-E-L-L-O. Boom. There it is. Um, Alright, it looks like our fuel supply is good. I don't understand why I can't... Okay, reset it. Yeah. Alright, let's go 66%. 65%. Oh, there. Okay, 66 is good enough. So, why isn't it... I mean, I guess that's it. I guess there's no animation for it. Alright, well, let's just call that a day then, huh? Okay, request a pushback. Let's see if they animate that. Um, I'm working on the voice chat next. I don't have my Discord server completely set up yet. Hey, what's up, JG Gamer on YouTube? How's it going, dude? Hope you're having a great day. Ooh, they do animate this part. I wish they'd animate the guy getting out and, like, putting the fuel in the plane. Alright, let's get a pushback here. This guy's gonna scoop me up. Take me where I need to go. Don't hit my prop, bro. Those things are expensive. Okay. Uh, request pushback, and let's steer to the right. See if that works. I, this, this is all new for me. Oh, not too much, JG Gamer. I am doing uh, doing a little bit of uh. Ah, oh, I went the wrong direction. Unless he spins me around. There we go. All right, he's just gonna turn me around 180 and run my wingtip right into that uh, fuel truck right there. 
Oh, this is so cool, guys. I want to learn all about this game to the point where I can literally just pull this thing out of the doggone hangar is what I really want to do. So we need to look and see. Should I change my name to the normal name so you know who is who? Sure, why not, DDA? But I don't know. Whatever. I, I know who you are on Twitch now. You're sneaky. You're sneaky on, uh, on Steam also, if I remember right. Okay, request pushback stop. You're going too far, bro. Ground copy okay. House November 42257 Echo requesting the end of pushback. Yes, we're good. You've, you've parked me. Are, what are you going to do? Are you going to drive me into the woods if I didn't stop you? Bro, bro's going to push me over into the woods right here. <laughs> JG Gamer, I hope you're having a good day, man. What's going on? Uh, what's uh, cracking with you lately? I just finished up a lot on my office. You guys got to go over to my Instagram and check it out. My stories are uh, are all the time uh, getting getting updated on my Facebook page and my Instagram. All right, let's go back to clearance. Request taxi to remain in the pattern. Ground Coffee House November four two two five seven Echo with Charlie. Request taxi to the active touch and go. Coffee House November four two two five seven Echo taxi. All right, there we go. All right, Coffee House, November 42257 Echo, taxi hold short of runway 23 using taxiway Bravo, cross runway 19, contact tower 134.757 57 Echo. Nothing much, this has been a slow but crazy week. Yeah, I get ya. Oh, hey, there you are, Gabe. What's up, dude? Sorry, I didn't know you were streaming. Oh, of course, Facebook. Thanks for not giving any of my notifications to my friends. I appreciate Facebook. See what I mean? Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna get upset for a minute. I'll I'll keep flying while we get upset though. Let's go ahead and turn this. Gabe, I'm glad you told me that. See, Facebook has been a, a lot of people are leaving Facebook um, because of taxi that whole thing old, right there. Um, people are subscribed, and then they still don't know that I'm, uh, you know, that I'm live. It's kind of irritating. All right, let's tune tower on 134.75. I had my notification. See, now that's super weird, DDA. How do you get the notification, but Gabe doesn't? That's just irritating. Come on, Facebook. You can do better than this. Rudiger got the notification. Um, okay, so try this, Gabe. Type in exclamation point and the word notify, and then hit enter, and see if that fixes it so that you get the notification next time. And also, you're in the Discord server, I'm assuming, so... Alright, we're gonna taxi out... Um, so on YouTube, if you hit the bell icon and then go in to hit the bell icon with the little lines beside it, it'll give you all notifications. Oh, that's super weird. <laughs> well, I, I will say this. Twitch chat is really good and the stream looks really nice on Twitch. So if you have my Twitch, um, there are a lot of people chatting on Twitch compared to YouTube. So... You could always go over to Twitch and watch there. Make sure you say hi if your name is different so I know who you are. All right. 57 Echo, taxi to runway 23 via Taxiway Bravo. 57 Echo. All right, let's make our heading indicator correct. Change our altitude to 2 niner decimal niner 2. And we're going to go out here. I don't know the taxiways on... Uh, this airport real well and I'm actually supposed to be taxiing from over there they put me at the wrong ramp this is fun I like doing all this groundwork stuff too this is kind of cool I get to hang out and chat with all you guys and all right now let's see if we can find If we can find where Taxiway Bravo is, I'm gonna have to get out the actual airport map um, and see where the taxiways are. I'm assuming it's this.
There's no hold short line here, so obviously that's not a runway. Yeah, let's just go ahead and try this. We'll see if we can find it. I decided to swap. Oh, you are JG Gamer over here on Twitch. Awesome. Good to see ya. Wrangler Girl is over here in the chats. That's my wife. She streams with me sometimes, if you remember Wrangler Girl. Hey, why is there a car in the middle of the runway? Bro. I just got a head-on collision. Uh, Wrangler Girl, JG Gamer, has raced on Forza with us on Sunday race day a few times. Hey, hey, Ken Kirshner liked the stream. Thanks so much, Ken. We're doing all the groundwork today before we go up into the Cirrus. I remember y'all playing Fortnite. Yeah, we play some Fortnite still. I just decided to start streaming some different games. Um, because Fortnite just, you know... Fortnite's Fortnite. Fortnite is a very, very, um... It's oversaturated. Um, and unless you're like Nick A30 or Booga, you're never getting seen. And so I want to build a community and a stream. I want lots of people at the coffee house. I want to race with you on Forza too. Yes, I got to get my racing rig uh, moved over into here for one of the streams and we'll do some racing. Um, also, even if it's off stream, I'm going to put in my Discord channel when I'm racing. So definitely hit that Discord channel and come join and we'll put up announcements about Sunday race days and stuff even when we do it off stream. All right, so this is runway 23, and I'm departing on... All right, hold short runway 23 via taxiway Bravo. Cross runway 19. Okay, why would I cross runway 19? Yeah, I thought that was 19 right there. Lost on the taxiway, guys. Don't even know where I'm going. Oh, no. That was runway 19 right there. Okay, this is... Ta th okay, so we're, we're good. This is uh, runway 23 right here. So I'm going to cross... And taxi down the taxiway to take off and depart on runway 23. If you want help setting up the Discord, shoot me up, uh, and I manage my own channel, and it's quite big now. Very nice. Yeah, I uh, got another buddy, Lucid, who also has said something about helping me out, so I will definitely hit up both of you guys for some Discord tips. I have no idea where I'm going. I do know that I am on the tower now, so that's good. And I do know that we can take this taxiway up here. I just don't want to cheat. I got it. This is a simulator. What's your Discord? Uh, I can post it again right here. Here is our Coffee House Discord channel. Boom. Oops. Paste. Chat. There you go. Now I'm steering off into the grass. Oh, boy. Wreck free. Wreck free Wednesday, guys. I didn't wreck free rate. I just went off and see. I learned at a grass airport, though, so we consider that okay. This is a monster airport, guys. I need to get the Four Flight app back on my phone, and then I could know where the uh, taxiways are and all that stuff on the map. I wish I had the ability to pull that stuff up. My computer just made a sound, and I don't know what that sound is. I actually flew a Cessna out of this building right here to my right once. Google Maps. Yeah, right. They do have a uh, they do have a thing. Um, this car is trying to run me over, bro. They do have a thing where you can just go to the airport um, and you can actually see the taxiways. If it's like an airport information sheet. So I guess I'll have to start pulling those up. Navigraph works well. Oh, that's a good one. Thanks, Ryden Fred. I will check that out for sure. Oh, I texted you a message without sound. Okay, I wonder what that sound was. When you're streaming, like, there's 50 sounds going everywhere. So, okay, let's go back and tune ground. 121.7. Alright, we're going to hold short of runway 23 right here. Because this is the one we want to depart on. Actually, I think we were supposed to depart on 
one niner, but I don't know. I don't know, guys. I'm confused now. Um, taxi for takeoff options. Request taxi to depart straight out. Remain in the pattern. There we go. Brown Coffee House Note right. Number Four Two Two Five Seven Echo with Charlie. Request taxi to the active touch and go. Okay, Coffee let's go ahead and man, I'm failing, guys, as a pilot here. Avionics are on. All right, let's go ahead and acknowledge taxi clearance. Taxi eating hold short runway two tree via taxi way Coffee House November Four Two Two Five Seven Echo. 42257 Echo, hold short runway 23, coffee house. 42257 Echo. Alright, let's do our engine run ups, guys. We got our parking brake on. Let's, our mixture is rich. We have, uh, let's bring our throttle up and get ourselves a run up. Let's get our RPMs up to reasonable amount here. Okay, we can check our mags. Let's do our mag check here. Let's go to... Okay, everything's still running. Alright, we're good. On our mag check. Mixture's rich. Let's go ahead and add in a notch of flaps. Take off. Bring our power back down. Obviously, our run up is obviously good. Oil pressure, manifold pressure, exhaust gas temperature, battery alternators in the green. Oil pressure's good. Oil temperature's good. We are on our left tank, and tank has fuel, which is also good. Turn boost pump on before switching fuel tanks. We don't need to worry about that right this second. Altimeter 2992. We are at approximately what 1280 is Zachary Canton Airport? Something like that. 1220, I guess. Alright. Tune Tower on 134. Dot. Before I used four flight, kind of expensive, but it's worth it. Can connect to the sim and see your GPS like it's real life. Yes. Uh, so I've had a membership to four flight for a long time because of flying drones in the movies. Um, it gave me the ability to uh, see where we were and what airspace classes we were in early on. Um, and so it, uh, you know, it was kind of worth it. So if it works that well in here, I'm, I'm probably going to do it. Okay, acknowledge takeoff clearance. Cleared for takeoff runway to Tree Coffee House, November 42257 Echo. Alright, let's get this bird in the air, guys. Rotator up at about 73. Man, these rudder pedals are touchy. I'm going to have to go into the expo curve and fix that a little bit. All right, we can go ahead and rotate this thing into the air. Flaps clean at 90 on the Cirrus. A couple more miles per hour. Takeoff is definitely good. Flaps are clean. Look at that. Beautiful. Beautiful. All right, let's go ahead and climb through to about, let's see, 15, 18, 21, about 2,100 feet will give us a nice pattern altitude for this runway. Come back around and request a full stop landing. Tower Coffee House, November 42257, Echo to land. All right, flaps are clean. Everything's looking good. And this thing definitely climbs better than a Cessna, guys. I'm, I'm not going to lie. All 
Alright, let's fly our crosswind here. We gotta pull the power back on this bird. She's climbing. Holy macramole. This is definitely not a 152, guys. Acknowledge pattern entry instructions. Make left traffic runway 2 Tree Coffee House, November 42257 Echo. Alright. Let's get a nice downwind going here. Let's slow this guy down. Man, holy cow, we're climbing like a rocket. All right, so we look out our wing. We're about a foot in from the wing tip on our distance from runway. State Route 77 right below us. Look at that, guys. Lining up beautiful. Okay, holding about 22, so we're about 100 feet high, but that's okay because we'll lose that easily as we get over here towards the end of the runway. I got to... Bring up some trim here. We're a little, a little low. All right, let's bring some power back so we can get down into the white arc and get set up to get our flaps put in here. Trim her back just a little bit. Coffee house November four two two five seven echo clear to land runway two three. Wind two seven nine or an eight. All right, let's get her into the white arc here. Get that nose up. Delete some speed off just a hair. Let's go ahead and pop in our first notch of flaps. Looking good, guys. Keep our air speed up just a little bit more. We want about 95 to 100 while we're coming in here. Coffee House, November 42257 Echo. Did you hear my last transmission? Roger that. Clear to land runway 2 Tree Coffee House, November 42257 Echo. All right, so we're maintaining our 2,000 feet. 2100 or so as we turn for our downwind. Let's go ahead and turn our downwind in here. Drop power back just a little bit more. I love the fact that the Cirrus is fuel injected so we don't have to worry about carb heat and all that good stuff. Alright, got a nice little base leg going here. Go ahead and turn in for final. Let's go ahead and get rid of this so we can see what the heck we're doing. All right, we're just about 90, which is good. Losing altitude beautifully as we're coming in. Got the runway dead ahead. Look at this, guys, we're doing well. About 500 feet on our final approach, looking good. Coffee House, November 42257 Echo. On final approach for runway 23. A little crooked, but that's okay. We got a little bit of a crosswind, so we're just keeping our wind correction angle into the crosswind as we're coming in here. All right, so our speed's looking good. We're 90 coming in. We're gonna go ahead and bike our power down just a hair. About 80 over the numbers or so, if I remember correctly. Let's dip our wing into this crosswind here as we come in for a landing. Power's all the way off, and we're just going to flare and sit this girl right down here for a buttered bread, shall we? Grease it. Grease it, Chemex. Come on. You got a flight yoke. There's no excuse. Oh, look at that. That's doggone beautiful, guys. Look at that. All right, UTS. All right, let's clean up our flaps. Oh, it's doggone beautiful. I love it, guys. Coffee House, November 42257, Echo Coffee House, 57 Echo, clear of runway. Coffee House, November 42257, Echo, contact ground on 121.7. Okay. Let's do that. Acknowledge ground handoff. 121.7, Coffee House, November 42257, Echo. Taxi to parking. Ground Coffee House, November 42257, Echo, request taxi to parking. Let's go. 
We did it, guys. Yeah, see, this is where I gotta learn all of my taxiways and all that stuff. I need that air. I need that aircraft map on four flight. Parking using taxiway cross runway one cross runway two tree Bravo Coffee House November four two two five seven Echo. Because what he just said, yeah, I ain't got no idea where that is. It's got to be up the other direction, though. It has to be. I love the foot brakes on the pedals. They actually work. It's pretty doggone cool. All right, well, guess what? We're going to go for a walk. <laughs> Let's just hit this walking trail right here see where it goes. <laughs> this is definitely not a taxiway, guys. This is like a walking trail to, like, around the property. You'd be like, what the heck are you doing? Hey, buddy, if you don't like the way I fly, get off the sidewalk, all right? <laughs> I feel like a bush pilot right now. Alright, where's this going? Is this a dead end? Oh, there's a trail. We're gonna take we're turning this Cirrus into a four-wheeler, guys. What the heck is this? Mike, don't watch right now, okay? If you're watching, just cover your eyes for a minute. <laughs> We're in the woods in an SR-22. What in the heck is happening, guys? I'm losing viewers. They're like, this this guy ain't no pilot. What the heck's happening? Oh, I crashed into a tree. That's okay. Because we're going to go to the main menu. <laughs> and I'm going to go satisfy my desires to fly something else for a minute. And then we'll come back and do some more serious landing patterns. Let's go. I want to give a, a shout out to Bro Pilot last night for the raid. I appreciate it so much. That was super cool. So if you're here, Bro Pilot, I appreciate it. Let's go to 2 Delta 1, the airport I learned in. Let's go get ourselves a Piper Cub. Let's just cub it for a minute, guys. I love this. Let's do it. Flight conditions. Oh, we'll do some scattered clouds. I mean, why not? There we go. And let's take off out of runway 27. There we go. I'm just going to go fly around for a minute while I chat with you guys and drink my coffee. Camex is live. What? That's right. I am live. What's going on, Lucid? How's it going? You gotta hit that note. You gotta become part of the notification gang, Lucid. Get them notifications when we go live. Let's go. Alright, ready to fly. Let's do this. Hey, thanks for the host, Lucid. I love you, bro. Announce clear of runway, announce taxi, announce takeoff, and depart straight out. Actually, yeah. Delta we'll... One traffic coffee house November four two two five seven Echo taking off runway two seven straight on departure. All right, let's do this, guys. We're just gonna get ourselves in the old cub. Look at this. We're gonna get our tail up off the ground like a real tail dragger pilot does. This is what I learned in. I learned right here on this grass field, right here, guys. This bird in the air. There's the parachute jump building right there where the guys pack all their chutes and get ready to go skydiving. I'll show you something. We water ski right here. Me and Pink Shadows and Wrangler Girl and our friends have a boat. And so right here, check this out. 
So right here is an island straight ahead of us. Hey, Wrangler, look at this. Remember when we went water skiing and we stopped at the island to check out that little island? Right here it is. All right, DDA, sounds good. Look at that, Wrangler. Isn't that crazy? Right there's the island where we all stopped and hung out on the boat and the jet skis. Isn't that crazy? And right there's where we load in and park the Jeep. How nuts is that? That's doggone realistic, friends. How crazy. There's where we load the boat up. I know, right? We, like, got off the jet skis in the boat. We were hanging out on this little island. Yeah. So, Wrangler, are we buying a plane like this so that we can fly over the island, or are we buying a jet ski so we can go to the island? You tell me. Land there on the parking lot. All right, well, let's try it. Coffee House 42257 Echo slipping in for a landing right here in the parking lot of the boat ramp. A little rough, but we did it, DDA. You you asked for it, we did it. Oh, it crashed me. I was going too fast. Dang. See, you crashed me, DDA. This is one of my favorite planes. I love this plane, Noptop. I just saw your, uh, I just saw your post there. How's it going today, Dave? Jet ski sounds more doable. The, uh, the, uh, the people are over at Twitch, though, if, if you want to chat. There's not too many people on YouTube at the moment. The party's over at Twitch. Just ask Wrangler Girl. She's leading the party over there. All right, let's try this again. I love this plane, too. Two Delta One traffic coffee house November four two two five seven echo is clear of the road. Alright, let's get our tail up, guys. Alright, now hey Dave, since you're here, you gotta see this dude. You've actually been at the place I'm gonna land. Wait till you see this dude, seriously. It's like thirty seconds over the woods here. I think you probably know where I'm talking about. Watch this, bro. Like, you're not gonna believe how realistic this is. Me and you and uh, our friend Peter did a little flying here a few years ago, if you know what I'm talking about. Get the Icon A5, that's a jet ski and a plane in one. You're totally right, DDA, and you know what's funny about that? The fact that uh, if you have a cool half a million laying around, I would be happy to get that, uh, get that Icon A5. <laughs> Just give me a loan. All right, Mr. Nop Top. Wait till you see this, dude. This is crazy talk right here. If you are watching on YouTube, Twitch, and Facebook Gaming, join our Discord server. The link is in the chats. And that way we can all connect and you'll get notifications when I go live through Discord instead of relying on Facebook Gaming to not tell you that we're live. Because they like to do that. Too far already. <laughs> Folds up on a trailer and fits in the garage. I know, right? All right, here we go. So here's where Mr. Noptop in the chat, he, he's been here before. You're going to notice the driveway. That'll give it away. Okay, here we go. Hey, what's up, Ninja Man 275 Let's go! How's it going today? Alright, so I'm going to circle. Look at this driveway right above my airplane. See this? Look at this. Well, it's not really the HQ, but it's kind of where we all started. And then right off my left wingtip is the hangar where we sat and flew all of our radio-controlled airplanes. 
There's the driveway in the house I lived in. Right here is my drone racing track. The one that's in the videos at the beginning is right literally in this field, right by my tail. So all the drone racing videos you see in the countdown were done right there, me and Mr. Steelhead. There was our house. Yep. It's been good. Hey, what's up, Shay Gregory? How's it going, man? Been a minute. Hope you're having a good day today. Watch this. We're gonna we're gonna bush plane it, DDA. We're gonna slip this thing right in here. Ooh, little little flare, little flare too early there. Come on, Camax, let's go. Oh, look at that buttered bread, ladies and gentlemen. I don't remember that place. Uh, this is where uh, Josh and Jimmy lived. And it crashed me because I hit a tree. Uh, that's where we all started flying when I was in the sixth grade. That was uh, their house growing up. They don't live there anymore, but obviously. But when we had all of our flying nights, uh, the private ones at the field, it was right there. That was the private location. I'm gonna fly back over there. I'm kinda mad that I hit a tree. So crazy to be landing there digitally. Could you ever have imagined? I know, right? But did you, Dave, did you see the driveway? Like, let's look at it again, guys. The driveway is even realistic. And I wanna show you something, Dave, and you're gonna freak out, dude, cause I did. This was nuts. Over by the horse ba barn, remember the round pen? It was like this red fence. And we would try to fly the drones through the round pen. It's on the map. You can see the indent of it in the ground. And there was always like a mud puddle there right by the round pen. And it's here. I cannot wait. I got, I just, I crashed. I was trying to turn around and go show you. You got to see this, dude. It's, it's crazy how accurate these maps are. But yeah, DDA, this was their house whenever uh, they were growing up. And then I, my wife and I lived over there for a couple years while we were looking to buy a new house. So you playing some Fortnite today, Antonio? Mr. Ninja Man? Oh, it's been good, Shay. I, uh, I've been uh, working a lot lately, so that's been something new. But got a big, huge corporate job I've been working on, so that's been keeping me busy. But everything is super good. Cool, that would have been before flight test. Uh, yeah, that would have been long before flight test. Okay, so when I brought Chad Capper out to meet my friends before flight test was ever even invented, like we were kind of in talks about it, Noptop had shot the first episode, and I brought Chad to this field right here, and that's how he met Josh for the first time. Me and Josh and Jimmy had been flying over here since, gosh like the 80s all right dave look at this so right here that is the round pen that the horses used to sit in right there look at this dude isn't this crazy like literally right there is the indent from the round pen in the mud puddle and in the mud puddle is actually there when you go over to and look at the driveway dude it even has the grass in the middle of it this is crazy crazy um we've been switching games up a lot uh lately shay we've been uh just trying to do some different things fortnite is so saturated i want to build a stream community and have people like hanging out like we all are right now and fortnite is so hard to get seen like it's just really difficult um and so building like i just played fortnite on stream the other day but um yeah, it's just really hard to get noticed on Fortnite to build community, and I really want to build some some valuable content and, and community to what we're trying to do here. Hopefully I don't clip a tree coming in here, guys. All right, here we go. Let's slip this guy down. Hopefully we don't hit a tree this time. You got to go sideways and use the fuselage as a little bit of a break. There we go. That's a little bit better. I just needed to... Uh, I just needed to get on the uh, inside view when I was landing. All right, there we go. Now we can taxi. 
Yeah, we do Forza, Flight Simulator, Fortnite. I mean, I like to play different games, and I'm a pilot, and so I built an entire cockpit. Tonight, when I get back home later, I'll have the over-the-view uh, camera. You can see it. All right, so look at this, Mr. Knob. Um, Antonio, maybe we can play after stream. I'm actually leaving after stream to take uh, my daughter to the roller skating place to go roller skating. But I will definitely play with you very soon. Maybe me and you and your dad can get some uh, some gameplay in here uh, shortly. But yeah, I gotta leave after stream today. Take Michaela roller skating. I promised her. Dude, how crazy is this, bro? Like this is nuts. Like, look at this. There's the round pen. I know the barn didn't really have a chimney, but, you know, hey. So crazy, dude. To land here digitally. My racetrack back there in the field. The tunnel of love right here. Ben remembers. Even this tree is accurate. In my one video um, in the countdown, I do, like, a pull-up with my drone in front of this tree right there. And I pull up and I do like a hammerhead and do like a little dive on this tree. Like, it's so ridiculously accurate. It's scary. Like, that tree exists in real life. Alright, let's go back over here and take off. I went ice skating two weeks ago and went inline last weekend. Yeah, that's what we do. We have our own inlines. So we do inline skating um, at the roller rink. Alright, we're taking off. We're getting out of here. Bixler traffic. 57 Echo departing runway 18. Look at that, guys. I lived in that house right at the end of that long runway back there. Pretty fun. See, if I was going to own an airplane, guys, honestly, if I could only own one, it would be something like this. Just a big old lazy Taylor Craft or a Piper Cub or just something that I could just get up, a Satabria, just float around. You know what I'm saying? I used to shoot landings after I would take off from Barber's or I learned to fly at Miller's, which is over there where those flashing lights are. Let's go do that. Let's fly low and slow. Right over this uh, lake here. A Vans RV-8. Yeah, I mean, that's a high-performance airplane. If I could only own one airplane, I would want something like this that I could just go cruise around in. You know what I mean? Just see the world. Just see treetop level flying. Nice and low and slow. Just good old side slips when you're coming in for a landing. Oh, man. It doesn't get no better than that, guys. Trim this thing for some slow flights. Look at that, guys. Oh, my goodness. These rudder pedals are legit, too, by the way. We used to take the Taylor Craft, and we'd take off from Barber's right here, and we'd pull the doors off of it. Get a decathlon. They can do it all. Yeah, I actually have some time in a decathlon. It's a nice little bird. I used to actually do this in real life. I would just drop the Taylor Craft right down in here over the lake, like illegally low. <laughs> Don't tell anyone. Oh yeah, Kit Fox is another one I would definitely own. That's a nice little airplane. Like the one Trent Palmer flies is just gorgeous. All the digital nav panels, short takeoff and landings. Yeah, that that would definitely be on the list of planes I would uh, I wouldn't mind owning. Just take the doors off. It's a Jeep in the sky, boys and girls. Look at that. Reminds me of flying in the old days. I used to take my camera with me. Even before phones had cameras. Like, I'm talking a camera. And I would literally just float around up here when the leaves were changing. Just take pictures. And, oh, gosh, dude. This makes me want to get myself a plane. Sis, you know what makes airplanes fly? Tell me in the chats. What makes airplanes fly? 
Like, seriously, what makes them stay in the air? <laughs> That's true. I'll tell you what my flight instructor told me after you guys answer. Ben C coming in with the right answer. You better freaking believe it. Uh, when my flight instructor asked me that my first lesson, I was like, oh, uh, lift, sir. Lift is created by forward momentum of the aircraft and uh, air flowing over the leading edge of the wing and blah, blah, blah. And he says, nah. He says, yeah, you're right. But money makes airplanes fly. Yes, it does. Good job. Let's lift our cups for Mr. C. He knows what's up. Mr. C, we need to be doing this right here. You and I get ourselves a little Piper Cub, a little Taylor Craft. Get ourselves a, a cup of coffee with a non-spillable lid just in case we hit any turbulence. And we need to fly the friendly skies together, brah. Dave Knopp has flown with me. Dave Knopp went. Knopp Top was actually in the airplane on one of the scariest flights I've ever been on in my entire life. And I was flying. I was talking about that yesterday. We flew out of Allegheny International Airport chasing a B-17. And we hit some turbulence coming in out of that airport. We hit a storm. And we literally hit a sinkhole that dropped us almost 100 feet like this. Dave's in the back sleeping. <laughs> I'm like, bro, he must trust me a lot with his life. He's back in the back sleeping, just chilling in the Cirrus. You know, I would love to fly a paramotor DDA. I think it would be amazing. Um, I've talked with Tucker Gott a number of times about that whole thing. Do you know the only thing that scares me about a paramotor? And I'll be straight up with you. The only thing that scares me about a paramotor is collapsing a wing. Dude, that scares the ever-loving daylights out of me, dude. It's collapsing a wing tip on a paramotor and having a wing... Just, uh, dude... Ugh. Soft wings, if you're flying around in the right type of air, most of the time you're okay, but dude, you collapse a freaking wing on a, on a soft wing like a paramotor and you're in big trouble, dude. Little wheels on landing here, keep my tail in the air, little touch and go. Look at that, guys, tail still in the air, steering it around, let's go, guys. That was something I used to practice in the tail dragger a lot was uh, just wheels running landings like that. Hey, Levi Lobi, thanks so much for the follow. On Facebook, is it? Yeah, you're over on Facebook. Thanks so much. Or no, are you on Twitch? Nah, you're on Facebook. That's the trouble with multi-streaming. Uh, Neil, what's up, bro? How's it going, dude? Yes, this is over in uh, good old Alliance, right by Berlin Reservoir, where I learned to fly. I was just showing my wife where we go water skiing, which is right over here. I'll show ya. Neil, how's it going, man? Good to see ya. And welcome, Levi. I always raise my cup. And uh, cheers to the people who follow us. I used to practice landings right there at Tri-City. Cheers, Levi. Welcome to the coffee house. So yeah, right here is uh, Berlin Reservoir. Oh, dude, I know. How's your Series X running? Is it treating you good? So right over here is Berlin Reservoir, and this is where we go water skiing in the, the uh, summertime. Yeah, I'm excited to hear how it works on the uh, Series X. I found one that some guy was selling in uh, Stowe for 700 bucks, and I almost went and bought it. Just because, you know, it'd be nice to have something extra. You know, what happens if my graphics card and my computer dies? You know, because we all know how hard those are to get right now. So when we go jet skiing and water skiing, Neil, um, this little island up here is so crazy how realistic this is. Watch this. This game is the coolest game ever. It totally is, dude. Look at this. There's an island right up here off my right wing tip in the middle of the lake right there. And we stop there and eat picnic lunches. I'm not even lying. And you'll see the boat ramp right above my right wing tip. 
where we launch the boat and park our Jeep. So crazy, dude. Look at this. We're going to drop it like it's hot. And then we're going to get in the Sirius and go back to Akron Canton Airport and do some more training. More landing approaches. Then I'm taking my daughter roller skating. Then I'm coming home and doing this some more. So you guys can come back and see me again tonight. But like right above my uh, left wing is that island in the middle. We pull the boat and the jet skis over there. Look at this. Even the parking ramp is completely realistic. Right above me. It has two of the little docks there to drop the jet ski and the boat in. Totally realistic. The parking like lines are all on the right angles where we park the boats. Visitor parking. Like it's crazy, dude. Drop some eggs, right? I'm telling you. <laughs> Look at this. So there's our picnic lunch spot. And then the airport I learned to fly in is Barber. It's literally right there across the woods. So yeah, there we go. A little bit of fun times. Flying around the old stomping grounds. Next we're going to go and we're going to do a, uh, a Cirrus flight out of Akron Canton Airport. We're going to fly up to Burke Lake Front again like we did last night. Do a little practice. A little runway. Uh, I'll do a landing at Akron Canton. Do a touch and go. And then we'll take off. And uh, fly to KBKL. About a 15 minute flight up that direction. coming in hot right over the intersection of the runway and we're going to do a hot dog landing right here. My flight instructor would not be happy with me right now. He'd come out screaming. Alright, come on. Slow down, Betty. Nice landing, Chemex. Both of them. <laughs> Let's go. Hey, Rick Dale, what's up, dude? Thanks for liking my stream, Mr. Dale. I am over here in Alliance, Ohio at the Barber Airport right off of Route 225 checking out where we go water skiing. Did you see that or did you come in just uh, a little too late? Because if you did, watch this. We can fix that, Rick. Let's get our tail in the air here, guys. Let's wobble it. Wobble, baby. Wobble, baby. Here we go. Here's where we go water skiing, where you have also water skied and jet skied, Mr. Dale. Check this out. Hey, thanks for the like, Neil. Okay, check this out. Right here it is. So, whenever you ran the jet ski into the boat... <laughs> yeah, I had to say it, dude. Couldn't help it. It was right here. I'll fly over there, Neil. Look at that, Rick. Right above the aircraft. It's the launch site. And there's a little island where we all ski and picnic. Look at that. Pretty crazy, right? I showed this to Daniel one night and he was like, no way, dude. Alright. Canton and Killian. Let's just fly this guy over there, Neil. We'll be there in five minutes. Let's do it. Actually, let's try this. Let's fly there inverted. <laughs> Shenanigans! Let's go! I'll bet you I'm going to lose my oil pressure and this thing's going to fall out of the sky. Oh yeah, let's go. Um, okay, Neil. Well, then I know right where you're at because that's Mayfield. So let's head that direction, shall we? Let's get our compass and head due west. Yeah, just north of there. It's, uh, it's called Mayfield. I'll show you where it's at, actually. That means, uh, I was to your house once. Yep, I'll go show ya. Let's do it.
I love flying. Oh my gosh, I love flying, guys. I need one of these. So here was a little runway up here. I've told some some people this before too that have uh, flown with me on stream. Um, right up here, there's a small runway that when we were flying out of Barber's right there, we would use as a uh, uh, emergency place to dump. There's a little private runway right up here. We would use this as an emergency place to dump the plane if we ever had to make an emergency landing. So you gotta kinda know where all that stuff is as you're flying around. And so I'll show you. My wife and I, when we first started dating, we went uh, kayaking in this little lake right here. Pretty fun. If, uh, if you go on my Facebook page, you'll see a picture of me and her from years ago kayaking right off of my wingtip on the right hand side. Kinda fun. It's kind of cool to float around in this thing. Hey, Neil, it was funny one night. This guy, uh, this kid said, hey, I'll bet you can't find my house. And I'm like, uh, I'll bet you I can. And so he messaged me his address on Messenger. And I flew, uh, it was in Missouri. And I used Apple Maps. I took off down the street at a grass airport. All right, here's this little uh, airport straight ahead. Watch this directly above the uh, glass roof in my airplane, right across that bridge ahead of me, is a runway. We'll buzz him. This was always my, if I couldn't make it back to the airport, this was where I would land. Right out the window, straight ahead. It's a short little runway, but at least it was there. So this would have been where I dumped the plane if I ever needed to. I almost had to use this once. My airplane uh, darn near caught fire one time when I was flying back in real life. Kind of crazy. And uh, so I almost used that, but I made it back, so we were good. And I was on fire by the time I landed. Like, just a little bit. Pretty crazy. All right, let's go over here to Mayfield. Maybe we can find your house, Neil. Your old house, that is. I mean, now you live halfway across the country. All right, let's go over to GPS and find out where we are. There's CAK right there. So Mayfield is 1D, or uh, yeah, 1D4 right there. Can't approach coffee house two four two two five seven echo inbound for class Charlie over Niner quarter of a mile east of the field. All right, let's see if we can find it. The houses don't look identical, but they have the same color, so that is actually accurate. Look at these shenanigans. All right, I see the runway lights right uh, off to my 11 o'clock for Akron Canton Airport right there. Look at that. And that's realistic, too. You can actually see them that far away. <laughs> that's hilarious. Hey, what's up, John Zoldak? How's it going today? You missed an awesome stream sniping uh, stream last night, Mr. Zoldak. We had like four guys in here all flying with me in the Cirrus. We left uh, KCAK and flew to Columbus. It was pretty amazing, dude. Hey, thanks for the like, John. I appreciate that greatly. Right now, we're flying over here to uh, just north of KCAK, and we're going to look for a friend of mine's old house at, by Mayfield. So if you guys look straight ahead, this might be the uh, Goodyear blimp hanger right up here out of my right triangular window. That white, long building right there under 950 feet. I believe that's the... Uh, building where the Goodyear blimp is stored. How's it going today, John? Oh my gosh, so this is actually where I grew up, right there. Those black dirt fields I told you guys about. 
right there is my old house. And this is where my daughter's friends live. Oh my goodness, so cool to see where we used to live. I installed, wow, I saw that on uh, Discord that you were playing that. Yeah, this is the Goodyear blimp hanger right there. Not the big one on, uh, this is the new one that, that where it's stored right now, is this one. What do you think of WoW? Does it uh, look pretty amazing on your new Ryzen 9? There's Mayfield right here. Five nautical miles, Mr. Seaver. Let's do this. Look at that view, guys. You can barely get that view in a real airplane with a GoPro. Look at Mrs. Chemex sitting up in there. She put her hair in a bun so that it doesn't get all, you know. Yeah, I know. I wonder. Um, it would be super cool if so. But, I mean, that's pretty darn realistic, though. Look at that. There's the black top where they take it out of the building. Big, long silver building. Right there is where we used to drone race at the state park. Pretty crazy. I actually got to fly the blimp, Neil. Did you know that? I, like, got to sit in the actual pilot seat and there's only one so I knew I was flying because there's only one seat pretty crazy all right so here's the runway where you grew up right here yeah right so Best Buy would be over right there Zachary can so the strip would be about right there Hey, look at that, Neil. You know that place right there? That would be the marketplace and the kitchen. And this is Lake Center. And right over there is Lake High School and the football stadium. Oh, Cuyahoga Falls Best Buy. Gotcha. Yeah, look at that. There's the uh, marketplace and flea market right there. Look how real that looks, dude. It's ridiculous. All right, let's drop this bird down a little bit because we're at 4,000 feet. All right, we got to find Killian. Yeah, isn't that nuts, Neil? Like, it's so ridiculous. Look back on that, dude. I mean, so crazy how realistic that looks, dude. It's redonkulous. All right, here we go. Uh, Killian Road should be... So, this is 619 that we're flying over right here. So we should look straight down. There's 619. We should see... Is Clearwater over here anywhere? Oh, that's probably Clearwater right there. I probably went too far. Yeah, it is. Right there's Clearwater. I know, right? I did the same thing. I think every one of us did that when we were kids, Neil. Alright, so this is 619 right under us. Okay, there's the square of uh, town right here with Papa John's right there. BP. So now we're going to fly straight out 619 and you're going to direct me. Here's the field over here. So if we go up 91 which is right there there's the elementary school okay so Kim Tam is right there okay so right here's Kim Tam see it over my wing or under my wing I should say was Killian just past that I don't remember there's the airfield. Okay, there's Kim Tam. Killian should be right up here, right? And you live just to here? Yeah, there. look at the diving boards are there! Dude, are you kidding me? <laughs> That's so crazy! This should be Killian right up ahead. Yep. Yep. 
Okay, so here's Killian, and you lived on the corner of what now? Are you right on the corner right there? Are you in these houses right below me? Right, that means you had to be right on these houses. Just there's Killian right under us right here. So you had to be one of those houses right there. Like right in there. I remember coming to your house once. Oh, Pine Lake Circle. All right, let's circle around for a minute. Where is it at from here? Type in the chats. I'll find it. Were you back in that little cul-de-sac right there? I remember coming to your house, but it's been years, dude. Yeah, and the stream lags just a hair, so by the time you tell me that, I miss it. You have to see it, dude. Right, so it's in that cul-de-sac. Is that it right there? All right, let's fly over the airfield here. Let's do it. This is fun. I love doing stuff like that. All right, so here's what we're going to do. Watch this. We're going to go to the airfield. Yeah, it's kind of hard to see, I know. All right, here's Mayfield. So let's go ahead and circle flying irresponsibly right now, but it's okay. Straight to the west of the field. Oh, so you're further down, Killian. So we're going west right now. Yep, we're heading west right now. And the airfield is right there, so you're directly west of the field. Or are you east of the field? Okay, you're the opposite direction. All right, so let's go like this. We'll flip ourselves around. Okay, so here's Mayfield. That's okay, dude. No worries power back a little bit so we go a little slower all right here we go are you on the road by my left wingtip Keep straight, okay? Thanks, Michelle. Did you see it? Are you in the woods too much? All right, I'm going to flip back around and do it again, and I'm just going to keep a straight view the whole time. We're going to find this. All right, so I know where we're at now.
Sort of in the woods, but you saw it. Oh, good. I'm glad you saw it. Let's do this. Hey, what's up, Marcos? How's it going, dude? Welcome back to the coffee house. We're just looking at my friend's old house where he used to live. Because we do silly things like that sometimes. Alright, here we go, Neil. Let's do this, bro. gotta be in here somewhere. Ah, oh, darn it, keep the left view. Alright, I'll do it again. I'm not giving up, Neil. Hey, what's up, Marcos? I hope you're having a good day today. I'm just trying to find my friend's house for him. And he saw it once, but I want him to have a better view. So I'm going to keep the left view as I circle around. I'm assuming this is Pine Lake right here. Alright, that's got to be pretty darn close. So I'm just going to circle like this, Neil, and you can pick it out. Alright, so we're going to circle just like this, and then you're going to see it. I know it. Okay, so there's the field. There's Pine Lake running parallel to Killian. Now here we go. It's got to be in there. I know you know what you're looking for. I don't necessarily, so we'll just keep this view for you. How fun is this, dude? I can't believe the diving boards are there, dude. That's so ridiculous. I need an Icon A5 that I can land in there. There it is, guys. So fun. Good. Nice. Good job. See, we aren't quitters here. We get it done. Uh, let's do a celebratory hammerhead. Oh, and I crashed. I ripped the wings off. <laughs> Man, that little thing is not able to do much, guys. It doesn't handle it. Oh, man. All right, guys. That is going to be about enough for me for right now. Get a little flying in. Got some Cirrus in. We did the gas up and the fuel up at the beginning of the stream. So if you missed that, we got to go and do some fun things that we haven't done yet. You're, you're welcome, Neil. Glad to help out. That's what we're all about here. Community, hanging out, having some fun, drinking some coffee. Cheers. This cup even says it right. Coffee. Before we go, everyone, look. Look at this. This is what we have coming soon. I promised, and now I delivered. There it is. Coffee House t-shirt designs, coffee plus games on a tan shirt. Coffee House is going to be on the sleeve. And then on the back, it might say something like just right below the neck. And then Coffee House on a Coffee Grounds brown shirt. And then a little controller maybe on the back of the shirt and coffee, you know, something like that. Not sure exactly, but we're going to, those are the two t-shirt designs I'm working on as well as hoodies. And then we're going to have some coffee cups. Yes, I'm telling you, finally. And you're welcome, Neil. See ya. Um, you go too low. Oh, no, Marcos. That's how you fly, man. That's real flying is that low and slow stuff floating around. It's fun. But I know what you're saying. If I was a little higher, you'd have more of a top-down view. But, um, so, yeah. So, we got the Coffee House t-shirts I designed in Photoshop right there. Let's see if I can get, um, 
Let's see if I can get that to zoom in just a little bit. There we go. How's that look? There you go. You can see the little coffee cup and coffee house. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. So I promised I delivered. There it is, guys. Um, I am going to take my daughter roller skating for a little bit. And then I will stream most likely again when I get home tonight. So we will do some more Sears training. At the beginning, if you missed the beginning of the stream, you can go back and check that out. And then the Discord server right here, if you haven't joined yet, join our Discord server. And also do me the honor of following me on Instagram. Because I put a lot of stories uh, and all that stuff. My Facebook page as well. Here's the Discord in the chats on YouTube. And here is the Discord is pinned in the chat on Facebook. So, but I'll put it in there one more time anyway, just because. So there you go, guys. I appreciate you guys hanging out with me tonight. I'm going to hit up the roller skating with my daughter for a little while. And then I will see you guys later this evening. Peace out and all that stuff. Later.